All right, everybody, I got a swarm. It looks like it's uh, coming to move into a box right here. They've been on that nuke box. Yep, there they come. They're going into that, that whole nuke box. That's crazy. But this is a swarm. It's probably one of the ones that left the other day. Let me get out of the sun. Yeah, they're all in the air. And now they're getting lower and lower. See them all right here? I noticed that they had uh, placeholders in that, in that box last night. Yeah, see the bees, they came and they were in there this morning and last night holding a place at the door for everybody. So here comes a swarm. Look at that. It's probably one of the ones that left the other day. I think I had more than one that had left. But yeah, here they come back right here. Look at that. We'll video this for a while, but it is just so cool. I think this is the 18th or something like that today. I can't remember. But yep, they're getting lower and lower. Man, that's a lot of bees to want to go in that little bitty five frame nuke box. But apparently they they chose it. Here they are. They're all right down here. Look at them. This is just too awesome. I was cutting the grass and I seen them in there. I was like, oh man. I said, hang on, hang on. Let's just watch them. I believe they're going to this box. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're, they're all on it. Look at them. Wow, your old equipment, they're repopulating it. I don't even have to, they don't have to hive them or cage the queen or nothing. She'll go in there and give her a couple days. I'll set another box on top. I got plenty of five frame new boxes. But isn't that awesome? Yeah, that was a dead out from over the winter. Look at that, a bee nato. I guess I won't cut grass over here for a while. <laughs> I wonder if this was the ones that were scouting the boxes over there yesterday. But I had a feeling we had a, we was gonna have a swarm move in. That little five frame nuke's gonna be slam when all these bees get in there. That's the one they chose. I mean, there's double deep 10 frame empty boxes over there they could have chose. They chose this one. Yeah, the swarm's getting lower and lower. I haven't seen the queen go in yet, but I'm pretty sure she's she's already made it in with this level of chaos here. Zoom in on the entrance here. Crazy. Yeah, they're all below 10 feet now. They're all just right in here. Just sit here and record it, make sure I'm not standing in an anthill. That is awesome. I know I keep saying that. Just can't help it. Yep, they're... They're coming down.
and I just had old box sitting there. I, was, I almost moved it the other day. I'm kind of glad I didn't now. I might not have caught this one. After a while, I'm going to go check the old other old equipment over there and that old swarm trap they, they were in earlier and see if uh, they're still still scouting if not this was the one that was doing all the scouting right here this is the box they chose I'll go into them in a few days and find the queen do an update on it I like using those old blue pallets, and what I do is I cut the back section off and uh, leave that together. It makes a great stand because you don't have to lean over it then. I just take the skill saw and cut it. It does a really good job of holding the hives up. I got the idea from that kind of a half long pallet. I had a couple of those, and I really liked them. Pour it in. Yep, there ain't many in the air now. So we're pretty much all all down here. Having some old equipment around is not always a bad idea. They say the best worm trap is a is a hive that's had bees in it. <laughs> Look at them marching up and going in off the, where they landed on the pallet. Look at them. They'll go in there and they'll clean it out. I actually saw them fighting with another bee on the ground. I guess it was trying to get in there too. That's why it's making me wonder, is there more than one coming after this old equipment? <coughs> but I'm good with it. I'd rather them come back and move in the equipment than go pester somebody, you know. That just will create other issues. Isn't it crazy how quick it settles down? I mean, it's almost almost like normal. There's very few bees in the air. And it's down to this in just a matter of, we've been doing this, eight minutes? It's crazy. I guess they, when they leave and swarm, it's about the same amount of time that they swarm out that it takes them to, to move back in. If I hadn't had that little swarm to put in the log hive over here, it'd have been cool to watch them, you know, see if one would have moved in there. But I wanted to get them started earlier in the log hive so they have a better chance this year. So they can... Uh, you know, get everything going and have enough stores to get them through the dearth and come winter time or fall they can get the goldenrod and the asters and all that stuff and survive the winter. I was going to replace it. I was going to take that lid off and make a telescoping lid out of it. But when I saw the bees around it yesterday, I was like, oh, I better leave it alone. I'm glad I did. Because if you ever have a swarm that are, is checking out equipment or a swarm trap or anything, if you see them on it, you just leave them alone. You don't touch the box. You don't do anything to try to make it more attractive. Nothing. Because if you touch that box, chances are they'll never move in it. But if you leave them alone, doesn't matter if it's completely empty there's absolutely nothing in it leave them alone just stay away from it and watch them and chances are they'll move in it I made that mistake years ago thinking I was helping them and I'd go put a frame up old comb in it and spray swarm commander or an attractant of some sort in there and just think I was doing the greatest job and they never come back I was like, ooh, that was a mistake. Rookie mistake, lesson learned. 
maybe you, other people can learn from this and and do the same and be more successful over the years I've learned a lot about catching swarms and how they act and their behavior now look at that there's just regular bees in the air doing their thing and if you hadn't have been here at this moment in time you would have never known this happened until you walked back here and saw it full of bees well, that's pretty much it i'll give you an update on it and thank you everybody and like subscribe comment if i'm doing something wrong let me know have a great day